three minutes. Holy fuck, man. This is Animal Teddy. I bring you a new video. Uh, as you can see at the beginning of the video, it happened to me in the Crucible game the other night. And oof. when you say that when you go invisible, you can sponge any kind of damage in the game, it's crazy, dude. Even Links from a Storm didn't do damage at all for him until like the cloak went away. It's a little OP in my opinion, if you ask my opinion. Like, I mean. I understand their cloak, but if you find them, the cloak should dissipate. It should be done. It should disappear. They should like be all right. Like I'm back. Like no more cloak. If you find them, if you shoot them or anything like that. Eh. But anyways, that's not the topic of the video. Uh, the topic of the video is for anybody that wants to know how to get the emblem called Master Cartographer. It's a uh, rare emblem where you can only attain it by doing the prestige nightfall of the nightfall strike this week. Um, if you, let me just check something just to make sure I have the right name so I don't, uh, it's called, the nightfall is called a garden world. So you have to complete it on prestige. Uh, this week it has torrent. And it has the one where you don't have to find any timer or anything like that. You just complete it within the timer. They give you, I think on normal, it's like a 20-something minute long timer. And on prestige, they only give you 17 minutes. So I suggest that if you're really looking to get this emblem, you try to get two storms with you. Uh, and the entire character can either be a striker or tether or whichever. Uh, the reason why I say storms is just that you can kill a lot of enemies and all that kind of stuff And if you wear the crown of tempest, you will be throwing maids like the solar sun bracers gauntlet from D1 You are throwing nades left and right. You'll see it later on in the video I just literally get my nades instantly look boom back nades. It's crazy and uh, every arc gives you your suit and like arc energy back and all that kind of stuff so you get your super a little bit faster you get your nades faster you get your melees faster you feed more arc to your tempest helmet it's crazy it just it stacks up it's really good so i suggest that you do this with at least one or two storm callers uh, jig was playing a striker with double pulse nades uh, ace was playing a storm caller and i was playing a storm caller also uh, crown of tempest is it's like I said, it's the key word in this. So to make it easier, in other words. But once you beat this strike on prestige, uh, an emblem will drop. Uh, that emblem is the new emblem uh, called Master Cartographer. Uh, a couple weeks ago, some people got their hands on it because they did the prestige really early that day. Until I think Bungie found out that there was a, a glitch or something like that. So they removed it from the Nightfall that week. So just this week they brought it back. So if you guys want to put your hands on this emblem, you might as well try to find yourself a good group and try to do it. Uh, it's things like this that we need more Bungie. To be honest, things that are secret uh, to go for. Like Black Spindle quests. Uh, Things like that. Even if it's just, it sounds hilarious, but just for an emblem, me and Jig and Ace, we were like pumped up. We really wanted to get it done because last time we didn't get the chance. And today we got the chance. So we were like, let's get it done, you know? It makes you play the game. It makes you play Destiny 2. And that's what they need. They're missing that carrot to run after. I'm going to use carrot uh, because I <laughs> I watch Meza Sean's video from time to time and he says that carrot, that's what we need. We need a carrots to run after, you know, and, um, oh. 
Oh, there was a little bug there. My bad. Uh, but yeah, so we need a little bit more carrots to run after. But it's things like this that are in a good, uh, good direction. We need more of those. So, uh, in other words, if you want that emblem, you can play this week's Nightfall and get it for your own. But make sure that you put it on Prestige, because if you do it on Normal, you don't get it. Uh, I tried it on Normal the last time because nobody knew that that was the emblem that you were getting for completing prestige. <laughs> was a surprise surprise moment pretty much. But yes. Another word, another topic. I came in from work today and I saw that Bungie tweeted about the Crimson Days. Crimson Days begins in Destiny 2 on Tuesday, February, uh, February 13, at the heart of a week-long event is a 2v2 crucible play that's intended to get your blood pumping as you and your friend test your bonds to the breaking point. This celebration of teamwork will last one week. The combat scenario is 2v2 clash with a round based twist. We will also be debuting, debuting to the burnout and you take on the burning shrine. Set in the future timeline where the Vex have succeeded in altering our reality. So, to bring back my, one of my favorite maps from D1, I think my second favorite map, uh, which is the Burning Shrine. So they're rebringing that map. And I guess that it's going to be really a dark map because it's going to be in the future where the sun is no longer. So, I guess that... If you stay close proximity to your partner and your abilities recharge at a faster rate. Ooh, interesting. Straight too far and your enemies will be given a waypoint leading to your location. Ooh. If you can't find a partner, don't worry. We'll play matchmaker and find one for you. So, okay. So, in other words, you want to play this as a team. You want to have your friend with you and all that kind of stuff. Because if you're playing with a random and he squanters off, oof, it's going to be rough. But yes, this is going to be the Crimson event and all that kind of stuff. And they got new uh, reward pool, all that kind of stuff. And you, this time around, they kind of, um, how should I say, fixed the, the dawning problem where... You would play the dawning, you might get one ingram, I think, per week, and that's it. This time around, every time you level up, you get a Curse of Osiris ingram, Bright ingram, I should say, and you get a Crimson Bright ingram. So you get the chance of getting the loot without having to pay for it non-stop, you know. And there's some cool stuff. I mean, there are a couple of cool uh, ornaments for your guns and all that kind of stuff. Uh... There's some missions too that you'll be able to play and all that kind of stuff to attain some of the things in the game. That Warcliffe uh, ornament looks badass though. I think you have to complete the raid, the weekly raid to get that though. From what I read there. Complete either the Leviathan raid or the raid lair, Eater of Worlds to claim the Diesel Punk exotic ornament for Warcliffe Coil. From the final chest. Alright, so... Okay, so there's carrots to run after the next week, you know? Things like that that we need. So I'm really happy about that. Bungie, good job. Good stuff. So yes, so next week we got an event, which will give us some things to do, you know? Because let's face it, after Iron Banner last week, Iron Banner was super awesome. If you guys didn't watch my video, uh, the last video I uploaded, um, I explained a little bit what I thought of this time's Iron Banner. I like it, the grind for the chest piece ornament. Uh, and things like that that Destiny Bungie needs to do in Destiny. Uh, we can't have this casual environment. It doesn't keep the, the, the veterans, you know, the one that runs after the carrots and all that kind of stuff. It doesn't keep you playing the game, you know. So, it's missions like this that we need. Look, I got fucking thrown by the Minotaur outside the map. It's things like this that Bungie needs to do for us to run after. So like this week you can notice we got this emblem with the Nightfall, which a lot of people are going to be doing, you know. But else than that we don't have much, you know. It's mainly just working on trying to find Masterworks, 
uh, pretty much that. Next week, we're gonna have that event that's gonna keep us busy, but I hope that Bungie makes some kind of a change to make sure that people keep on running after carrots, you know. But else than that, I think that will be it, guys. If ever you guys have questions and all that kind of stuff, uh, make sure you leave it in the comments. I'll be trying to answer them all, all that kind of stuff. Uh, I think if you guys want a tip for this strike, it's like I said, Stormcaller, Crime Tempest, Pulse, and Better Devils, really good. Mananan -an and uh, Warcliffe Core, and you should be okay. Make sure you have two good teammates with you, and you should be okay. So you have to complete it on Prestige, and you will get your emblem. I hope that you guys will have a nice day, a marvelous day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like helps me out a lot if you want to help me even more knock out that little bell beside the subscribe button um, make sure you subscribe share it to your friends helps me a lot and as always have all a good day and I'll see you guys on the next one peace out
has been dismantled. What's next? We're putting up fires all over the place today. I'll be honest, I can't remember where we left you. We're in the middle of three separate simulations. We just met the biggest Vex Cyclops I've ever seen, and we cracked it in half. Oh, Dendron, right! You're so good at cleaning up Osiris's messes. I'll make sure it doesn't happen again. Now get out of there before the simulation shuts down.